Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Lucas and today we're going to be talking about how to create custom designed sections in Shopify, right? So, you, you know, you, we all know that Shopify is kind of like the leading platform to create e-commerce websites, right? Powerful e-commerce websites without having to deal, deal with complicated code and complicated backend. You only really have to deal with complicated code when you want to build like some type of custom template, right? Because you do have you know, a template library with stunning templates or themes is um, how they call it. But basically these themes are, are pretty expensive, right? They can go for, you know, 200, 300, 400, 500 bucks. Developers can be even more expensive, right? You have to pay them on an hourly basis or on a fixed project basis based on what you want. And the free themes kind of suck, right? They're very, very, very bland and they're not very customizable in a way. I think, for example, the Dawn theme is like the most uh, popular free theme out there because it's kind of the, the one that Shopify gives you once you start a store. But in today's video, I want to show you how you can use different AI tools to kind of conceptualize different designs and basically, you know, customize your design and then basically at the end, push that into your Shopify store. And by the way, if you like my videos, feel free to reach out to me via Discord. I have a stunning Discord community. We do like live calls every single day. So um, feel free to join that if you wanna kind of like meet me and ask, ask me any other questions related to these videos. All right, so I'm in my Shopify dashboard. I have this, you know, little store that I used for my video, my YouTube tutorial. So this is like kind of like a fake store, but basically that's not a, that's, that doesn't matter, really matter. What matters is that we have our Dawn theme, which is the theme that Shopify gives us as default. It's a free theme, you know, it's very easy to use. It's just very kind of dull in terms of design. So if I click here on customize, you're gonna see, I get into this visual editor and we have a hero section with, with the nav bar, with the banner, um, with this um, big image that we can replace over here. We have different things that we can add. We can add different sections like a image with text. We can add a product um, section with, with our products. We can add, for example, custom liquid code. We can add video sections, whatever. We have all of these different sections, but it's quite limited. There's like around 20 that we can use. And then we have um, basically other pages as well. Uh, but in this case, yeah, we just have this very default theme. Now let's say we add this multimedia collage section, right? Where we have this big piece of, uh, this big image over here. We have this, you know, example product over here and this collection over here, right? It kind of looks like a bento grid, but not really because it's quite, you know, simple. And let's say that in this specific section, I want to make it a little bit more funky. I want to make it more of a modern type of design, maybe add some like hints of animation or interactivity here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this section, right? Just for reference. And then I'm going to head over to this tool called Magic Path, which by the way, guys, Magic Path is a great tool to um, basically come up with different designs with AI. We have this infinite canvas over here, right? We can customize the canvas like this. And we can add sections, components, and full pages, full app designs into this infinite canvas. But in this case, I want to just open this new fresh canvas over here and basically upload that image that I took from Shopify, right? And what I can do is I can chat with the AI first. So basically this AI is tailored, uh, is a UX designer, right? UX UI designer. It's tailored to create stunning designs. But before it starts creating, before it starts generating credits, which by the way, if you are a free user, you get five credits every day. But before it does that, you can basically chat with it credit free. No need to no, no need to worry about wasting credits and kind of ask it for suggestions. So we can say before we start designing, how can we make this design look better? So once we write that, we can basically just send this. And we start getting a you know response immediately because it's an AI. Great question. You can improve this design by adding more contrast using consistent padding and introducing subtle shadows or borders to separate sections for a cleaner, modern look. And we can even ask it like, how can we add some more interactivity? So let me just submit that. And then it basically gives us suggestions and we can say like, you know, based off of this, what's a prompt that you suggest we use? And it basically helps us generate a prompt, create a responsive multimedia collage component for a clothing store homepage, add a slideshow carousel to the main image area with smooth transitions, navigation arrows, arrows and autoplay. So that's actually a really cool idea for this main image area. 
and include a ticker below the collage for promotions or new arrivals with pause and hover and customize the speed. Ensure all elements are visually co cohesive, accessible and mobile friendly. Awesome. So we can just basically get this prompt or we can just ask it, let's, let's do this. And then it starts generating the design. And basically in the first try, we get something like this, right? It's amazing with very beautiful font and kind of radial gradient in the middle with the background images that belong to each kind of category or section. At the bottom left, we have like this little card that I still think needs a little bit of refinement, but you know, I'm gonna show you now how to kind of do that here in, in Magic Path. And then at the top, we get this, you know, ticker component that whenever you hover your mouse over it, it kind of stops, right? So this is a great first um, trial, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ask for different variants. So when we go up here, we can ask for variants and we can say, make them award-winning uh, designs. And basically we get three different variants. So I can start at the very top, right? We get this one with an image, kind of no, no real uh, gradient hovering over this image, but um, we do get a different type of style. It's a little bit more like serif style with the text. We see these, this white nav bar that it added. We have this white card now at the bottom. So it's just giving us some different ideas of how to implement this. This one actually looks really interesting because it's more of a type of longer section, kind of like in a newspaper type of style, like in a news newsroom, news article type of style, editorial, right? That's what it's called. Um, we could eventually remove the, the, the uh, nav bar if we wanted to. So we can go like this, for example, and just delete this element and just click on save. And then we basically get like the, you know, components saved like this. And we get this main image, but now we get some more text, right? And we get, we can, we can change a few things. It doesn't have to be a read full article. It can be like read more about this or, or learn more about this category. This can be like the senior designer, not editor, right? It's just taking inspiration from, from a editorial design. And then we have this at the bottom, right? It's pretty much the same, but with like a nav bar that it added and kind of like this, this uh, button that can actually fit well down here. So you can go on and on with these different variants, right? This, we actually did this with like the free version, right? This took four, um, basically four tokens to generate. And usually, you know, it's with, with the free version, you have five tokens per day. So this actually did a very good job for the first um, try. And uh, yeah, this is just a good way to kind of brainstorm on your specific Shopify section that you wanna actually implement. And now the next tool that I want to show you is something called shopdev.ai. And basically in shopdev, we have some different featured sections, right? You can build like stuff like testimonials, like down here, you know, before and after sliders, we can build like product detail pages, or we can actually build like some like type of memory game um, linked to your pro products. And, you know, whenever you get the game, you, you know, whenever you're finished with the game, you get some type of uh, coupon code for your for your product, right? So um, that's actually pretty cool. And up here where, where you can basically prompt what you wanna build, we have different options. We can either upload an image or we can, you know, link a specific Figma file. So over here we have, the, they have a shop dev Figma plugin. So you can select any frame and import it. And so, yeah, we can either try it like that or we can try it with an like upload image. I think uploading the image is actually like the the easiest choice. So I'm going to do that. And once you take a screenshot, you can just basically drag and drop that screenshot in here. And we can say like create the slide, slide show, slideshow section with, with the ticker banner at the top. And I'm also referencing the image as well. It must look exactly like the attached image. And basically it does a pretty great job, right? We get our ticker at the top. We get this, um, you know, section here in the middle and we have this little card on the left. And then basically what we can do is we can, you know, chat with ShopDev and ask it to kind of integrate our products. And by the way, to do that, you have to connect your store. I've, I've connected my store over here, but you have to kind of connect your store in order to do this. And then once you have products in your store, you can basically connect them via ShopDev. What you can also do is try out the different responsiveness modes over here. You can, use specific theme styles that you have on your own Shopify store. And you can open these settings, right? And you can just basically edit the ticker text over here. So if you want to edit this one to be something else, you can do like, for example, test. 
you can edit the ticker speed to be s slower than it, than it is right now or faster. In this case, this would be slower. And you can basically edit all of these different transitions, autoplays, um, back background colors, navigation colors, and so on and so forth. All right, and once you have that done, we can just click on publish, on, on basically publish up here. We can update that. And basically, we can just click on open Shopify customizer over here. And that takes us to our theme customizer inside of our Shopify store that we have co connected, right? So in this case, it's looking like this. And what I can do is I can just zoom in a little bit and we can add this section over here in the middle, right? Let's click on add section. And basically we have it right over here. So we can just click on this and we have this nice little section looking like this. And you can see that two of our products are already connected to this, which is pretty cool. So if I were to just click on save, we can basically connect a specific, uh, you know, background image. We can select one from our library like this, right? I can choose one of these that, by the way, shout out to Costa from my Discord community for creating these assets. Um, but basically you can create these different, um, you can add these different images to your background. And basically we have these different buttons and we can basically just change the button link to some of our products, right? We can put products, one of these right to the power gummies so we can make the text color different. We can make all of these different things different. So yeah, we have all of these, all of these different uh, options to kind of choose from. I can then go ahead and click on save and then going back into the section in the, um, you know, preview mode, we can click on explore now and it takes me to this specific product page that I have in my Shopify store. Right. And it all works perfectly. You can choose the different colors, right? We have the red, yellow, blue, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it from this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was pretty fun to kind of create this, these different design inspirations inside of Magic Path, bring them into ShopDev, and ShopDev actually turns these designs that we created inside of Magic Path into like actual liquid Shopify code that actually connects to your Shopify products and, act and you can actually put inside of your Shopify store. So yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, please, you know, leave them down below. I'd be more than happy to kind of read everything. And again, we do make these live streams every single day in my, inside of my Discord uh, server. So I have the link to my Discord down below. If you want to join, feel free to join and, you know, we can chat. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.